Hi Taurus, this is your end of month reading from April the 16th to the 30th. I hope everyone is having a good day so far. If this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. If it doesn't, check your moon and rising. You could be in that energy as well. Um, just a reminder, these are general reads, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, for Taurus, please. Taurus, please. Ah, uh, makes sense. I was like, oh, because we're moving into Taurus season. I was like, celebration, I got birthday, birthday celebration. We got the Three of Cups starting off. So some of you are um, April Tauruses um, here and you're kind of moving into your kind of birthday season. So happy birthday to those. I got birthday celebration. Um, this is coming up for like, also Virgos came up as well, but this is just the first card out, so I have to pull some more, but it's just feeling like um, joy, uh, celebration, um, excitement uh, coming in here. So if you're kind of skeptical about whether or not you should uh, be um, doing anything for your birthday or, you know, or, you know, maybe you don't want to do anything this year. I don't know. I just feel like celebration. I think things need to be a little bit celebrated in these two weeks um, here. However, that kind of is for you. I just want you to celebrate life and celebrate um, where you are and how far you've made it. Um, things like that. That's just really kind of um, resonating with me right now. Just through that kind of really big of like, yeah, celebrate, you know, enjoy, socialize, go out. If it is your birthday, you know, it just doesn't mean just like another year older. Like it's just like another year of life. It's again, switching that energy of being like, you know what? Okay, I'm another year. I have another year to kind of... Um, well, hopefully another year, but I'm just saying, like, um, you have made it another year. I think it's just saying that for birthdays. And birthdays are meant to be enjoyed. Like, celebrate that you've kind of, um, again, you made it another year around the sun. Like, it's exciting. I'm just feeling that, that celebration, that joy. Judgment coming in here. What's this judgment all about? So the judgment, we have the Empress in reverse, which we also got as well. Um, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse in the world. You're finishing off a cycle here. Um, and I can feel it. And especially it kind of comes in timing because it's coming into your birthday season as well. But there's this almost like shedding that is almost happening for you. And, this shedding is kind of like shedding and, 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 and not kind of working on this energy where we're not feeling abundant. And I think that's where that kind of appreciation um, that I said in the beginning of this Three of Cups and that joy is kind of coming in for us here. Um, and I think this is going to be like the the real, the, the judgment time for you, right? It's going to be like, can we start celebrating life? Can we kind of bring that joy back into our life? Can we start kind of appreciating it for what it is and the value that it does bring here? Because it almost seems here that there's a cycle of, um, um, of almost not working on ourselves or not feeling abundant or kind of um, uh, not putting the work in on ourselves is kind of over not kind of putting the work to kind of raise our vibration here or, or feeling abundant as well as kind of fizzling out here. It's like whatever that we are coming out of now um, feels a lot stronger to me. It feels a lot more, uh, you feel different is what I should say. The energy feels different and it feels like a, an ending here with this world card. A cycle is kind of closing here and the cycle is kind of this energy of um, uh, ebbing low or feeling like, you know, things won't get better for you or not appreciating things or uh, moving in the energy of kind of, again, that energy of things um, that life is just kind of like shit and it's just this big kind of switch and I just they just showed me again the switch and they showed me a light switch going back on and it's like when the light kind of shines um, back on from the light switch it's like boom light and that's what it's kind of really feeling like here and it's feeling like it's like that kind of just like boom light there you go it's like lights on now we're ready for this I'm feeling this very kind of rejuvenation I'm feeling like this old kind of cycle closing for you here at the end of this year because it feels like kind of that that light was maybe off for a little bit um, here, but it, seems, it feels like it's like coming back on.
there's something here about um we have the ace of wands in reversed ace of wands in reverse is kind of um false start it's kind of like um something a new passion and beginning not really working out for us or um, not starting for us here um it's followed by the Knight of Swords and the Lovers in reverse, so it has to do with relationships, breakups, endings. So there might have been a situation here um, where you thought a relationship was going to go somewhere and unfortunately it just didn't. Um, or you're kind of really wanting a relationship right now and it's not really kind of coming to you or in the cards. Um, here, if we are in a relationship, um, some of you it's feeling like might be um, going separate ways that's not for everyone but it just feels like there's a little bit of stagnancy kind of within our relationships here or our relationship um world a little bit where things aren't kind of moving on or things aren't kind of moving forward kind of at all here with this knight of swords um reverse the knight of swords reverse is kind of like stuck energy here so maybe you're feeling like your relationships aren't really starting um, or things are kind of starting out for you here. Um, that could be the cause of kind of this uh, vibing low as well or you're just the current relationship you're in. I just want to get another card on this to see what they're kind of trying to tell me um, here. Yeah, there's something we're not maybe moving away from, not moving away from um, an ex-relationship here, not moving away from a relationship that isn't really serving us anymore, or it's not like allowing us to grow in this situation. Um, and that's why we're kind of feeling stuck. It's just like, oh, I just can't get past this level. Or, you know, it just feels like this energy is kind of stalling now. It's, it's not um, feeling um, fruitful. It's not feeling kind of good anymore. I keep kind of teetering back between if this is feeling like, um, just give me a sec, because it's feeling like some people in a relationship are just kind of the relationship is feeling a little bit stale right now, um, or um, we're not moving, and then for the single people, it's like we're not moving away from like an ex situation or having a hard time moving away from an ex situation, and so it's finding, uh, it's hard to find the right kind of relationship right now for us, or, um, you know, to kind of, to connect to anyone. But it's through, what they're telling me is through that joy. That when you kind of feel this joy, when you kind of feel this kind of new appreciation, when you feel this kind of um, excitement about life again, it's just kind of going to radiate this energy out. And if you are looking for a relationship, I think it's going to re, um, draw people towards you with that energy. This kind of new, that I was saying it before, like a switch just turned on. It's this new kind of light that's happening kind of in your life here. And it feels like when you're in that joy, you kind of won't even care about this. You'll just be like, well, it will happen while it's happening because I'm enjoying myself right now. And it won't feel like so much pressure on you. Um, and if you're in a relationship, it will just kind of, I feel like the answer will be brought through that joy or about that re kind of connection to yourself here, Taurus. I'm feeling good, really good energy with it in these two, kind of two weeks here even though you might be feeling like in this kind of stuck situation where your relationships are involved, I just feel this kind of, again, that that will be solved. And we're just gonna kind of be focusing on the joy of things here. We have the Eight of Swords and we also have the seven of wands in reverse. You need to stand up for yourself a little bit more to your own thoughts um, here. Cause I just, again, seeing, as you can see with the eight, or sorry, the seven of wands here that they're all kind of attacking him and he has to kind of defend himself. Your brain's gonna try to attack you, I feel like in these two weeks and you're like, oh fuck. Um, I know you're thinking that because uh, it's like, ugh. But we really need to start saying no to our own brain when they kind of bring in these thoughts or try to attack us with things of making us not want to experience joy or making us want to um, feel like nothing will work out for us here or that, um, you know, the answers aren't on the way or the cycle will never be over here. 
it just feels like there needs to be a little bit of release from that. We need to kind of stand up for ourselves here um, and stand up and put boundaries for our own selves against kind of our mind right now. Because that's what the Eight of Swords is all about is kind of that overthinking, overstressing, anxiety. And we kind of need to stand up to that a little bit here and be like, no, you know what? I'm going to enjoy my life. I'm going to do things that make me feel happy. I'm going to hang out with people that make me feel happy because that will bring me joy and that will kind of reignite the spark within me here. Um, and I'm standing up for myself, you know, I'm, I'm doing this for me and I'm standing up for me. message <laughs> so we have the page of swords reversed we have the seven of cups reversed we have the hangman um reversed we have the five of cups and then we have the knight of cups reversed and the what i got in my head that why i was laughing is because it's like i'm not i'm not waiting for you anymore it's like, it feels like there's an energy of someone that maybe has a few choices here and you're kind of waiting in the wing or they're not kind of coming forward to talk to you or you're feeling like a choice or you're feeling like you know that they have options here um, and someone's not kind of coming towards you or coming to speak or actively speaking to you anymore. I'm getting some ghosting energy as well here. Um, that's feeling like it might make you sad so especially if you want that response from someone else but again like i was saying before just know your worth and know um what you deserve and stand up for yourself a little bit here especially if someone is a ghosting you or b making you feel like an option um or c like not really communicating properly with you here with this page of swords reversed it's going to bring a little bit of sadness for you whatever this is whatever this person maybe is again I don't know, just keep getting ghosting energy that might bring sadness. But it's just like, the spirit wants you to be like, it's, and I, this is gonna be the hard truth here. It's just like, why are you hope, so hopeful for something that doesn't really treat you right? Or um, it isn't really putting that energy kind of back into you, you know? It's like, this person seems like very flaky. It seems like very much um, like they're not coming forward to communicate. And it's like, that's the energy here. It's just kind of like, why wait around? You know, it's like, why am I waiting around for that? It's like, why am I being sad over someone who doesn't want to give me energy? I know who I am, you know? I know, um, you know, I know my value. I know what I got going on here. And I'm going to surround myself and hang out with people that are celebrating me. So I'm going to go out for my birthday. I'm not going to be sad um, because you're ghosting me or you don't want to be uh, talking to me. Because you know what? I don't have time for that because I'm celebrating myself. Mm. That's what I like. That's what I like to hear. Celebrating myself. I like that. It's feeling good. It feels like a good way to pop it up. I'll read this card up again. Like, why do you keep laughing? But it's just kind of like it's funny. It's like this is what this is kind of what we're kind of reading in the read. All right. So you got the energy. Uh, your energy oracle is the sun in reverse. A creative project may be blocked at this time, or you could be feeling like your own creativity is being stifled in some sort of wave. This is the Empress in reverse, right? <clears throat> uh, from, uh, from outer sources, or they could actually be coming from within. Are you standing in your own way of stopping self-expression out of fear and doubt? So if so, it's time to let go of fear and, you're willing to take a, and be willing to take a risk. The sun reverse can also indicate a period of time where you find yourself living in the darkness of confusion, lack of direction, or even depression. Reclaim your power and take back your emotional control of your life. That's right. Take your power back from this person that's ghosting you. You know, enjoy your life. You, you know, it's, it's yours to live. 
Stop focusing on the clouds. Like the sun, the light of your soul shines no matter what difficulty or darkness may be clouding the horizon. Your power and light are always present and able to bring healing and renewal through strong, self-directed choice in any situation. So let go of doubt and let your creativity come forth. And know that you deserve to shine. And that's what we're kind of talking about here with the standing up for ourselves and what our own kind of intrusive thoughts are being. You deserve to shine. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to experience joy here, to connect with good people, you know? That is your God slash universe given right. Taurus, you deserve to be happy. Remember that, remember that, remember that, remember that. All right. We also got perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out, common ground. Take a step back and look at the bigger picture of your life. Step away from the blinkered vision and reactive frame of mind of me against them and change your perspective. Shift your point of view and zoom out, out, out. We are but a speck of dust in the universe, yet we think everything revolves around us. We see the planet as ours to own and conquer, pillaging the land and setting ourselves up for eventual extinction. We build fences and walls and create invisible border, uh, borders. Mother Earth doesn't uh, need us to survive, but we need her. It's time to wake up. A new perspective is um, urgently needed. It's kind of the judgment card here. And we become so lost in our individual experience, we don't realize that most of the things that keep us awake at night are actually distractions, Eight of Swords. We're wasting our precious time and resources fighting each other, or people that are ghosting you, um, each other when we should be coming together to heal what's been severed. This moment is a breath in the timeline of your life. This life is a fleeting moment in the tapestry of your soul's experience. Your soul's experience is a flash of the timeline to the known universe. The known universe is a grain of sand in the unknown universe. Take a moment to see the bigger picture and find common ground. Find a deep compassion in your heart to gain a greater perspective on humanity in this fleeting moment in the timeline as your soul experiences in the timeline of it all was or ever will be. How are you being called to change your perspective? And that's why I was kind of laughing about this is because we're again, that light boss, that, that light switch, like that light turning on, it's like such a prominent thing for you in these kind of two weeks um, here. Well, Taurus, I'm glad that you are getting empowered. I'm glad that it is your birthday and I'm glad yet you are enjoying life in these two weeks. So that was your end of month reading. I hope it helped.